Hi, guys! Since it's really cold, we're going to prepare a warm afternoon snack for our babies! Click play and have fun with Alex and Lily! Hi, Alex! Hi, Lily! Why are you wearing your pyjamas already? It's not bedtime yet! Oh, you're cold! Right! Winter's finally here! But don't worry! I have the perfect solution to warm you up! We're going to make some hot chocolate sauce and churros for a snack! Hey guys, can you think of any other afternoon snacks for the winter? You can tell us in the comments! You're going to have to swap out your pyjamas for your chef outfits! Great! Now we're ready! First, we turn on the ceramic cooktop and we have to wait for it to warm up before we put the milk on it! Great! Now we put several chunks of dark chocolate in the saucepan! And now we stir with the spoon so that it melts! Like so! Check it out! The milk has changed colour! It's almost ready! Next up, we have to thicken the chocolate sauce! So we have to add some corn flour! You don't know what that is, Lily? Corn flour is flour made from maize and it's great for thickening chocolate sauce! We add some to the saucepan and now a pinch of salt to enhance the flavour and lots of sugar, but not too much! <laughs> And now we stir again with the spoon until it dissolves and melts properly! There! Mmm! It smells amazing! Let's pour some in your cups! And do you know what goes great with chocolate sauce? Some yummy churros! It's very easy! You just have to pick up a churro and dip it in chocolate sauce! <laughs> And that's it! Now it's your turn! Whoops! Be careful not to make a mess! <laughs> Hi Alex! Hi Lily! I have news for you guys! As you can see, our babies are ready to cook! And they love cooking so much that we've decided to start our very own recipe series! You can participate and learn with them! You can tell us in the comments all the dishes you'd like us to cook! Today, for example, we're going to make a dessert! What have you picked? Oh, it looks like you two don't see eye to eye! You, Lily, want to make creme caramel! And you, Alex, want to make a chocolate cake! <laughs> don't worry, I know how we can work this out! We're going to make chocolate creme caramel! Also known as the impossible cake! This dessert is a chocolate cake and creme caramel at the same time! But it's not that hard to make, you'll see! This dessert has three layers. The first one is of caramel, so let's pour it into the mould! What is it, Lily? Am I forgetting something? Right! Thank God you reminded me! Whenever we bake a dessert, we must always squeeze the mould with butter beforehand so that the cake doesn't stay stuck to it! Here we go, now we add the caramel! And we prepare the second layer, the chocolate cake! We have to melt the chocolate to incorporate it to the dough! That's it, Alex! We warm it up until it's liquid! And now we add some butter! OK, now it's time to make the dough! In order to make the dough, we need eggs, sugar, and flour. And now we have to whisk it thoroughly so that there are no lumps. Yes, just like that! Done! And now we have the second layer. The only thing left now is the custard. This needs more eggs, six actually, so as to have a thicker consistency. And now we add condensed milk, whole milk, 
and a bit of vanilla to give it that tasty flavour. And once again, we have to whisk everything thoroughly to mix all of the ingredients. Remember I told you the chocolate creme caramel was magical? Well, you see, even though the cake was the first layer and the creme caramel was the second one, they're going to magically switch places in the oven. Do you want to see what it looks like? I'm so excited! Let's see! Oh, wow! It looks great! See? The creme caramel layer is now at the bottom and the chocolate cake layer is at the top! It's magic! <laughs> Who wants to try it first? Hi Lily! Hi Alex! Should we cook dinner? What would you like to eat? You need to reach an agreement. Burgers or salad? <laughs> I've an idea! What if we made burgers with veggie patties instead of meat patties? Exactly! It's a Mexican recipe you're going to love! And you too, guys! Hey, what's your favourite burger? You can tell us in the comments and we'll try it out with Alex and Lily! Here they are! The colour is similar, isn't it? It's because they're made out of beans! Let's heat up a pan and add a splash of oil so that we can fry them! We have to wait for the oil to warm up! It's weird it's taken so long! <laughs> That's right! I forgot to turn on the cooker! Here we go! Once it's warm, we put the burgers in! Into the frying pan! Now we have to let them cook for a while! That usually takes a little bit longer than with meat patties! In the meantime, let's prepare the buns! Remember to use burger buns! They're much tastier! First off, once they're ready, we have to turn off the cooker! We can't waste energy now, can we? See how quick that was? Now we just have to put them on a bun and add any other ingredients we like. Fried tomatoes? Those will add flavour! What about you, Lily? Any ideas? Cheese! Yes, that always goes great with patties. Can I add a special touch? Since this is a Mexican burger, let's top it off with some yummy jalapenos! <laughs> Don't worry, we'll only add a few so that it's not that hot! And our Mexican burgers are now ready! Don't they look amazing? <laughs> let's dig in! Hi Alex! Hi Lily! Wow! I see you're ready to cook! You two are hungry, huh? Well, let's get started then! But, hang on a second, where's the wheel? Oh, you want to make pizza? Hmm, okay, fine, you get to pick this time! Let's get down to work! To the kitchen! Did you know that pizza is one of the tastiest, most varied foods? You can add just about any toppings! Let's see what we have in our fridge! Ok guys, what is the first thing we need to make pizza? <laughs> You're skipping steps, Alex! Where are we supposed to spread the tomato sauce? Over the plate? That's right, Lily! We need pizza dough! <laughs> Great! Alright, Alex! Now we can spread the tomato sauce! We have to spread it thoroughly so that it covers all of the dough except for the crust! And now, the other basic ingredient! Well done, Alex! You got it right away! And now we have to pick the toppings! <laughs> Come down! One by one! Alright, Lily, what topping would you like? Mmm, mushrooms! So yummy! Good idea! What about you, Alex? What topping would you like? <laughs> 
Are you sure, Alex? Not everyone likes pineapple on their pizza. <laughs> it's all right. Um, what if we only add pineapple to half of the pizza? This way, whoever doesn't like it can eat the other half. OK, and to finish up, can anyone think of any other toppings we can add? Well done, Lily! Corn is really fresh and it goes great with pizza! And now comes the hardest part! Waiting for the pizza to bake in the oven! <laughs> be patient, guys! It'll be worth it! We must remember to turn off the oven. And this is very important. We must wear oven gloves so as not to burn our hands. Finally, now comes the best part, eating it. <laughs> Can I have a slice, please? Thank you. Oh, by the way, this fresh pizza is called Hawaiian pizza. <laughs> That's right, Lily. You can dig in now. You've just discovered your new favourite pizza! And what about you guys? What's your favourite pizza? Leave your answers in the comments! See you in our next video!